For today's video, we're going to look at the Red Beauty decal used by Homer Lachlan in the 1930s and very early 1940s. It originated on the well shape in two forms. So we'll look at our list. because I have a list of many of the shapes that use this treatment. Though I'm sure there are others out there, so if you have something that's not on this list, it shouldn't be that surprising because it was used in so many different ways. But for wells, there were two versions. One had a black connecting line, and the other did not. In fact, the first one didn't have the black connecting line. It is treatment W5923. And the one with the black connecting line was W8523. So these are decals that come from group 23. This is the 59th treatment of group 23. This is the 85th treatment of group 23. So we'll look at a couple examples. This one doesn't have the black connecting line. If it did, it would cut the shoulder. And on flatware, it would cut the verge. This one has the treatment number on the bottom as W5923. So now 8523 is going to have that black connecting line on the shoulder. Or on flatware, it's going to be on the verge. So we have that line here, that must be 8523. If this black line wasn't here, then it would be 5923. Though to many collectors, this is not an issue. Um, they're going to collect Red Beauty whether it has it or not, I'm sure. But there are two versions. The covered casserole, a little syrup, batter jug, and of course the teapot. One thing about 8523 that makes it different from the other, and this may be difficult to see if you have some of these pieces, it should have an ivory luster on the smaller portion that's cut off. I don't know if that's going to show up at all because it really doesn't show up that well to begin with, so I don't know on camera how it's going to do, but this should be like an ivory color and this is white and this should be ivory, and this should be white. On some pieces it's very slight. Like on this casserole I can barely tell. But if I take the lid off, it's very prominent that there's an ivory luster on the inside. So your pieces may or may not have this added feature. Well, since I have the casserole, there's the treatment number. 8523. That's with the black connecting line. The next shape on our list, Old Roman. One sprig green connecting line, treatment number OR58. Old Roman is very difficult to find to begin with. Um, the only piece I've ever seen is at the pottery where they have a shop sample. Jade on Claire de Lune, that's that green tint glaze with platinum line. That's not terribly uncommon. I don't have a piece to show and I don't know its treatment number but it is on Jade. Chelsea no edge line treatment CH50. This is Chelsea premium wear made for Quaker Oats. Here it has our Red Beauty decal. There's the embossing scalloped edge, no line, no verge line just two sprigs, and there's the Chelsea back stamp. So you'll find this decal on the larger pieces like the plate, the platter, the, uh, the baker, there's a Chelsea baker, and the smaller pieces of Chelsea that were made for Quaker Oats like the teacup, the fruit cup, the oatmeal, and the six inch plate which we just saw. Tea Rose, same situation, made for Quaker Oats, no edge line. This is Tea Rose, very similar to Tango with its scalloped edge and scalloped inside line. There are teacups, small plates. You'll also find a nappy and a platter. 1939, pretty late for this decal. In fact, T-Rose might have been the last shape to use it. Then we have Virginia Rose, and there are three instances. The first one was the most common. Two sprigs, platinum edge line, 
VR212. When I say Spriggs, as a reminder, what I mean is that something like a dinner plate has two decals. If it's one sprig, then it's just one decal. But there's your two sprigs with platinum edge lines. That's treatment VR212. A little six and a quarter inch plate, covered sugar, creamer, 1934. Everything on this table comes from the 1930s. One sprig with no edge is VR322, and then two sprigs with no edge is VR341. So those are your three versions of Virginia Rose. Swing egg shell. Shop sample may not have gone into production. The only piece I ever saw was at the factory. And here's a photo I took of it. So it has a very bold yellow shoulder with that black connecting line, two sprigs. There were no other numbers or anything on the front or the back to indicate that this was um, an actual shop sample with like a treatment number or if it was a test piece. There were no, any, there were no markings of any kind actually. Uh, this used to be in the morgue, but now it is in the museum. So when you get to the museum, when it opens at the factory in Knoll, you'll be able to see this piece and many other nice pieces. Yellowstone, two sprigs, no edge line, Y244. I don't have an example of this, but this is the vellum glaze. And it's interesting that we see it on Yellowstone vellum and even Jade Claire Loon, but we never see this on Century vellum. At least I've not seen an example. Nautilus ivory and eggshell Nautilus. These two I got from the Pound Sterling books. That listed the treatments. I've never seen either one of these. But Nautilus Ivory has two sprigs, a red band near the edge as treatment N292, eggshell Nautilus, two sprigs over Ivory Luster. So that's going to be the same situation where you have the Ivory Luster on wells. Let's see, and that is N1420. Royal Oven Serve. These aren't very difficult to find. Two sprigs red edge line OS84 and then two sprigs platinum edge line OS90. So our red line would be like this cake plate from Royal Oven Serve. And we have a cake lifter to go with it. And then we have the platinum edge line as OS90 and these are some platinum pieces. So this is an embossed oven serve baker, two sprigs, platinum edge, and it even has our royal oven serve over glaze stamp. A lot of these pieces were meant to have metal frames. Mixing bowl, again, embossed oven serve. And we see the platinum mark, royal oven serve. Covered casserole, the marking is inside the lid and the base should be blank. Whenever they had casseroles that were going to go into a metal frame, they didn't bother putting decals on the bases because you wouldn't be able to see it once it's in the metal frame. And here's a Royal Oven Serve casserole slash mixing bowl, but it's not marked. It just has the red ed or it has a, a red connecting line. And then we have, we'll move this casserole, embossed oven serve plate with red edge line. And this casserole is the next one, daisy chain. There would be a covered casserole and a matching pie plate, red line DC701. So the daisy chain refers to that embossing see it on the lid and on the base marked with the oven serve back stamp and our lid has the treatment number DC 701 daisy chain 701 kitchen craft red connecting line there's also one with platinum line this is the red connecting line very similar to what we see with the 
Royal Oven Serve Casserole, marked Kitchen Craft. Kitchen Craft was introduced in 1937. And here's the jug. It has slight platinum line on the handle. Trellis. Light yellow glaze, no line. I've seen a picture of that. I've not seen one in person, however. If it's on trellis, it was probably used on Newell as well. Republic. Someone posted on Facebook, I think it was earlier this year, a covered butter. It's a round covered butter. But I've not seen any other pieces of Republic. I've not seen it listed anywhere in any treatment listings. So it may be a pickup piece. Because Republic butters were uh, picked up with other lines. Georgian Ivory Cake Plate. Possibly a pickup piece. This is the Georgian Ivory Cake Plate. And I need to talk about this for a moment. Because when I did the video on cake plates, I had said that every line, with the exception of Old Roman, had a cake plate in its assortment up until and including Virginia Rose. And then after that, the cake plates disappeared. And they started using Royal Metal or Kitchen Craft cake plates. Well, I, what I should have said was Georgian Ivory, because Georgian Ivory is the next shape after Virginia Rose. And this is the cake plate. And it has the Wells Peacock stamp and platinum, and the Georgian embossing. If I can get that to show up. That you see on Georgian Ivory and later on on Georgian Eggshell in 1940. There it is. And this also has that um, ivory luster inside the connecting line. And here's another Georgian ivory cake plate. So you got to look for that embossing because they're generally not marked. This one has decals that you'd normally find on either Yellowstone, maybe even Quaker, maybe even Knoll. And finally, Coronet. And I put this here because in his book on Virginia Rose, Richard Ratcheter says that this treatment was used on Coronet, though I've never seen an example, but I did want to mention it there. So this is not a complete list. You may find other shapes. So the next piece I want to look at is this one. This is treatment number 488 by Hall China. I want to make some room. It's a kitchenware casserole, radiant shape. And the decal is very similar to Red Beauty. Couple differences. The center of the flower does not have the little green spot that Red Beauty has. Also, Hall's version has an added purple blossom. The marking, Hall's superior quality kitchenware made in USA and this is collectible in its own right so you got Hall China collectors that go after 488 you've got Homer collectors that go after Red Beauty and you have some collectors that will collect both because they do mix together very nicely but the question becomes who did it first did Homer do theirs first or did Hall's do theirs first and I used to think for the longest time that Hall was first However, there's a lot of documentation that supports that Homer did it first. This is a copy or printout of a photograph I took of a little decal book that Frederick Reed had with the different decals on the well shape. And we've got three of them here, 4623, 5023, and 5923. All three go on the well shape. All three belong to group 23. He's got a little note DP here, that's Decal Products, out of East Liverpool. And it's dated March 19th, 1931. So we can put the decal at least at March 19th, 1931, and more than likely it comes from 1930. That's when the well shape was introduced. Um, this decal would have been drawn up, it would have been approved, decal sheets would have been made prior to March 19th, 1931. So it's, it's safe to say that this comes from 1930. Hall China, on the other hand, 
with its kitchenware. They did not start doing kitchenware until 1932. January 1932, this is a page from a trade journal. It's been reversed and it's negative. Hall China announces vitrified kitchenwares. So we'll just look at a little bit here. Few announcements in recent years from the pottery industry have been as outstanding in interest to the department store and house furnishing trade as the news that the Hall China Company, makers of vitrified china, are bringing out a line of kitchenware. Quality in its products always has been the pride of the Hall China Company, and the new kitchenware of the, no, I'm sorry, uh, the new kitchen is of the same quality as the lines of hotel cooking ware and teapots for which the Hall China Company has been well known. And what they show is the medallion shape. And what we have over here is the radiance shape that follows. So this comes after 1932 and Homer's comes from 1930. So I think it's there's more than enough evidence to say that Homer was in fact first and that Hall China followed. Though it's really not a big deal. Um, both of these are just such nice lines to collect that I don't think anyone's going to nitpick. This is a catalog from 1937. Um, shows some of the other pieces. It says decorated kitchenware as illustrated. Decoration number 488. And it's called 488 because Hall China generally did not assign new numbers. Whatever the decal supplier they were using, whatever number they had, that's what Hall China had. And this is why it's called 488. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six sizes of uh, radiance jugs with lids. Uh, again, this comes from 1937. So I think that's going to be it for Red Beauty for now. Next time we're going to look at Roman Pheasant.